Yo, what's going on, 60 Samalinda Squad? Gilgamesh. I was going to say came out today, but he didn't come out today. It's just the PTS. And uh, we got some things to go over. He's got a lot of abilities in his kit and a pretty great passive. So I guess we just start with the passive. It's called Epic of Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh embarks at level 5 and level 10. He gains a quest. And when he does the quest, he gains a tier 1 item or 500 gold if he has a full inventory of items already. But basically, you can average this to be around 400 gold every time you complete a quest, which, you know, overall gives you about 800 gold to 1,000 gold per game, which is pretty great. Pretty great as a passive, in my opinion. But regardless, the first quest is to just visit a specific location on the map. And when you come into jungle practice, it's just right here in the center. You walk over it and you gain a tier one item. And the level 10 quest is to kill, I'm not sure how it works in Duel or Joust, but in Conquest, it's to kill three enemies in a single fight. And your second quest will complete. In Duel, I assume, because it says defeat half of the enemy team rounded up, I assume in Joust it's two, in Duel it's just win a fight. And yeah, that's the passive. It's not, you know, not a lot to it. Pretty straightforward. And now we go over the abilities, which I think visually are some of the coolest abilities in the entire game. So, <clears throat> the one is Sunforge Scimitar. It does a lot of things, but mainly all you have to know, when you activate it, it does an AoE damage around you, like a, like a flame ball of damage around you. And it slows them by, you know, a scaling up slow, obviously, for 2.5 seconds. So I'll show you what it looks like here. So, it, um, you know, it activated, it slowed, and you saw the the 15 damage proc? That's actually my, that's actually my kins, because it procs basic attack items, which is weird, but that's, you know, whatever. Um, just to show you, right, like, you see 14, 14, 14, the one that does 15, I don't know why, but whatever. And then the second part of the one is, every time you auto-attack someone... The stim that you get, which is basically an, a secondary kins, or a stronger kins, um, it it every time you land an auto, it increases the timer right here. So you can see every every uh, auto attack extends the timer for 0.8 seconds up to a maximum of 12 seconds. Now, if you watch, when I use the one, I have a three second buff. Every auto attack, it resets. And I can keep this thing going. I can keep going. And use my one again. Because the cooldown of the buff, of the one, still goes down even if you're keeping it up. So he's very much an auto attack based god. You definitely do not want to build him um, ability based. But you can just see right here. It's doing pretty good. It's just always up at all times. It's never down. All right, now I'll stop doing that and we'll go over the two. The two is called Drop Kick. It's got a lot of words and a lot of different things there that it says, but let me just go through it with you. It's an on her jump. It doesn't jump, but look, you charge it up, boom, if he hits the wall, it stuns him. Pretty simple. He hits the wall, he gets stunned. Um, now let's go over here so I can show you what it actually does. Now this also works with gods, but you can kick something through other things and it will do damage to everything it passes through as well as stunning the first thing. Now, um, it obviously has kick damage, bonus damage, and burst damage. Um, here, here's the, here's the crazy thing, okay? This combos with the alt really well, and uh, I want to try to show you it, but let me go over the other abilities first before I do that. So the three is a leap into the air, and it's it's a relatively far leap. Let me uh, put this on quick cast so I can show you. It's a relatively far, far jump. You can see it's got a big AoE lander on it. So the lander, when you when you land, it will do damage to everything around, 
And when you're inside this, you get an extra 35% bonus move speed. It scales up, starts at 20, uh, 25%. And you get 10% lifesteal by default, just by being in this jump. So I, I'm obviously you see my move speed at 498. I go out, it's 443. I go back in, it's 498. So it's pretty great. It's a, it's a really good stim to keep up. You know, like you use your one to slow them. Once the, the slow runs out, you jump so that you can keep up with the attack speed. Or with the uh, with the move speed from it, so yeah, it's pretty cool. And then finally, we have the alt. Uh, Gilgamesh calls upon I don't know how to say that word Shamash I think Shamash to create a ring of wind at a target location for six seconds. Enemy inside this ring when it starts take damage and are slowed for two seconds. The slow is big, obviously. It should be. It's an alt. Um, enemies inside the ring. Take damage every 0.5 seconds. Enemies who try to escape the ring are heavily slowed. Heavily. 70% slow. If you try to leave the ring, it's a 70% slow. Right here. Um, so it's pretty crazy. It's, it's actually really insane. But, I mean, obviously you got to leave the ring, right? So you just take that 70% slow to the chin. Um... If Gilgamesh damages an enemy trying to flee, they are thrown back towards the center of the ring. The wind turns into thread over six seconds, damaging, rooting, and crippling enemies who are still inside the ring. Let me show you what that looks like. So if I, let's say, I hit this guy. I guess it doesn't show. Hold on, let me... Boom! Let me go reset my cooldowns real quick. But, um... Yeah, so I'll do it on this guy. You see the big slow, the taking damage. If I hit him, he gets thrown back. And then once it procs, if they're still in the middle, they get rooted, crippled. And um, what else did it say? Damage, rooted, and crippled. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty big. Now here's the other thing. You're not just doing that. You use this, right? And then you kick him into the wall. And when you kick them into the wall, it shoots them back into the center. And then you can stand in front of them and keep hitting them so that it keeps throwing them back into the center multiple times. I'll show you that again real quick because it is really hard to kind of understand seeing it for the first time. Let me see how he walks. He walks about there, so I'll place this here. I'll kick him into the wall, which throws him back in. And then if I'm hitting him, he gets thrown back in again. So... It's pretty crazy, um, not to mention it increases the damage of your dropkick, which is also a stun. But here's kind of the combo. Here's kind of the uh, the full combo that you want to pull, pull off when you're fighting someone. In my opinion, what you want to do is you want to start off with your alt. It's a huge radius. It's going to slow. The slow wears off, you use your one. You auto him a while and keep him in the center. He's rooted. You keep going, you keep going. And once he starts running, you land with your three. Now, it could also be okay if they're just fighting you in your alt. It could also be okay to, um, instead of doing this, you could drop this and then jump so that you have that extra life steal and um, extra move speed while fighting in the alt. But you can see how his kit combos really well together to kind of create this burst assassin and i i actually don't know what he is i think he's a warrior but in my opinion he should definitely be an assassin he kind of strikes me a lot as as ravana i'm gonna go back and look actually and see um if he is an assassin or warrior that being said i'm pretty sure he's a warrior but let's see yeah he's a warrior but i you know i don't know we'll see anyways i'm gonna get into the game now i just want to run over the abilities and how it combos well together and uh i'll see you guys there boom and here we are with Gilgamesh. Now, here's a few things to, to note. They added some extra guides here to help you out. If you want them, if you want them, you can show roll guides for conquest, show help tips in the game, or show recommended items for my roll. I don't really need any of these on, but I have the recommended items on just so I can quickly scroll through the tabs. Um, but yeah, just a, a quick thing to mention before we get into the game, which is why this is starting here. But overall, I mean, dude, Gilgamesh seems like so much fun, and his damage seems pretty good. Um, I'm going to start. He's obviously an auto-attack character, 
Obviously an auto attack character. I'm gonna go Death Toll. And he's Tiamat. Tiamat scares me, so I'm gonna go Runic Shield. So I'm pretty tanky with a pretty decent amount of damage. Um, go Bracer as well. And I'm gonna max my two. Because maxing your two, in my opinion, it's the best clear you have for a minion wave, right? Maxing your one's not bad. As you can see here, the damage is not bad. Um, but the two, it's it's better damage here. Well, I guess it's it scales off lower, but you get the bonus damage from kicking minions through, so. <coughs> Should be pretty good. At level five, my passive will activate. Um, and when my passive activates, I just have to run to a part of the map and I will get a tier one item, which is just gigantic in duel. You can see his clear is pretty good. Alright. Pretty great clear. He's got good wave clear against me, but... You can see how you can out trade pretty easily with this god. I I had to use my bracer there, but I was also tanking wave. You know what I mean? So. Man, kicking him into the wall. I kicked him into the wall with my two, which is my drop kick. Did 219 damage. Like that's so crazy. Oh, and you can see right. I'm level five. You can see on the map this little little uh, symbol up here, right here. You walk over that, look at my items, and boom, tier 1 item. I got a tier 1 Genji's. And I don't know if it gives you... I'm just going to sell that, by the way. I don't really care about that, and I'm going to get full boots. I don't know if it gives you items based on your matchup or based on who you're fighting or anything like that. But that is the um, level, one, level 1 quest done, or level 5 quest done. So now when I get to level 10, I have to kill him. And yeah. All right. Dude. It's insane. It's incredible. The ult. The ult at 178. My auto is obviously. He's a main auto attack character. But then my one did an extra 188 damage. Kick him through the wall. And the, and the buff. So... He's taking a lot of damage, and yeah, I mean, you can just see how much burst damage he has, and and how just absolutely incredibly strong he is right out the gate. And I think early game is kind of his thing, because the drop kick is much easier to land. Like, like you don't need to combo two abilities together to to get the stun like you do with on her, right? Like you just boop. And that, I mean, it just does so much damage, right? That drop kick did 820 damage. Ridiculous. All right, let's jump in here. Um, I mean, you know, I don't really care if there's little minion boys. Can I drop kick a minion? Nope. Or maybe I can and it just died too quick. Let me see. I'm going to max my one after my, my two. My two is for the clear. My one is for the fighting potential, so... See how much damage this does. It did about half of the buffs HP. Not bad, man. Not bad. And yeah, as you can tell, it's really easy when you ult someone to keep them into that ult. You know, with your drop kick and like you drop kick them into the wall, which does it, go, it goes against you know what you're used to trying to, like kicking them out of your ult. It goes against muscle memory, but if you can get it down. It's very strong. It's very strong. Okay, see him transforming is good for me because that means I can do this. Oh, I actually kicked the minion. Oh, you're going to get rooted. Oh. I might be able to kick this into him. Oh, it stopped. First enemy. 
Alright, though, I have, I have, uh... I got Death Toll, so we're chilling. Just use my one here, because... It's okay, it's okay. Um... And I, I don't know why I went damage boots, because to be completely honest, I think I, I want to try attack speed on him. And I know that maybe attack speed isn't the best. Like, uh, there might be better. He might not be an actual auto attack warrior. But I think he is. And I, I mean, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, like this already feels much better. This already feels so good. Now, Tiamat seems to be pretty good at um, not being kicked into the wall, which is unfortunate for me. Just super tanky, super tanky, really insane damage. The ult did 361. The drop kick kicked him back into the middle of the ult, so I was able to get the kill. Um, I let go of my kick there too fast and messed it up. I think you get bonus damage with your kick by fully charging it. I think that's what it is. God's hit by the launched enemy. Take burst damage. Oh, so if you kick an enemy into another enemy. If you kick an enemy into another enemy, they take extra damage. By the way, I just, uh, when I killed him there, I was actually level 10. And I finished my level 10 quest and it got me this uh, tier 1 cloak item. Oh, it does actually take both hits out of the uh, TMAT minions with the one. Nice. I want to go, like, Kin's Aussie, stuff like that. Like, the burst damage is... It's there, right? Like, it's, it's very real. It's very real. Yeah, I can kill him here. Kick him into the wall, so he gets thrown back in. And there it is. I got a brace for this, because I probably would have died to that tower shot. But yeah, I mean, look how much damage my 1 and my 2 are doing here. I don't think a Golden Blade would be bad on him. Let's see, do you... You do not do extra damage on towers. However, it does... Um... It does kind of stay. You know, the, it, it keeps the buff there. I kind of want to go Aussie here. Oh, I think he jumped over me. I think he jumped over me or I missed my two. Oh no, my two hit him. But I guess... I guess he was probably knocked back immune one when I hit him. I don't really want this item. I'm just going to sell it. An extra 433 gold for my passive. Not bad. Um... Yeah, and I mean, like I said, I think I want to go... Into Aussie. I really enjoy this character a lot. I very much enjoy this character. Ooh, it's a little uh little rubber bandy out here, huh? It is PTS and PTS did just launch, so Sometimes you got to expect it, you know what I mean? But he should not be able to win this fight anymore. Oh, that actually hit him into the wall. Damn. Okay. 
Damn, I died. I died, I died. But you know what? I actually was able to dive his Phoenix and kill him through his um his healing with double this and his his shell. He got bounced so many times. Yeah, dude. Yeah, man. Can't get out of that ult. If I'm sticking on you, you can't you can't run. You can't run. You just get uh get knocked back into that ult over and over and over. But I mean, I know obviously diving Phoenix is not the play when you take 2200 damage from Phoenix, but I just did it to show you guys just how strong the fighting potential of this god is, right? Because we're both level 15. It's not like I'm really far ahead. We're both level 15. We both have about 9,000 gold, right? So in an even game, in an even game against what a lot of people consider an OP god, you know, I, I just dove Phoenix, took 2,000 damage, and then won the fight. You know, <laughs> that's crazy. It's crazy you're able to do that. Let's see. Coming over here. No, I'm just gonna clear then. All right, and I'm gonna use my three and my one to try to burst down Bull Demon. Unless maybe he is here. Oh. Didn't get the stun. He's just gonna run. Yeah. Alright, so watch this though. Even with me having divine, right, or him having divine on me. Why are you so fast? Yeah, my three gives me movement speed. My two, I, it's just first off ridiculous, but it's just so strong. Like the kit, I don't think the kit is is that amazing, but it works so well together that. It's almost impossible to, like, see this god in any other vision. I think it's so cool. He's so cool. I do feel like his auto attacks, for some reason, feel like they should cleave. Um, with these really wide swings that he does, I feel like they should cleave. But, I mean, I know that would be OP. But it feels like that, you know? Another artifact for the collection. Yeah, it's re it's really cool. It's really cool. This guy's really cool. He's going double defense here. Um and yeah, I mean I I just really think that the the game plan with this god is try like try to combo your alt with a stun. Obviously. And if you can't, just chase them down with your one and your two. Cuz the cooldowns are not very long. I'll use my one here because it one shots those. Up, dude. Or not the knockup, I'm sorry. I missed the kick. I missed the kick. The range wasn't there, man. The range wasn't there. I missed it. He is gonna have a lot of HP though. Once he finishes this item. Yeah, I, th I think right there, if I just hit the hit the kick, we win. I also didn't hit the alt well. Which was bad. TM, like, like, that's kind of the thing you have to do with Gilgamesh, right? Because anyone with a jump, like, Tiamat has a really short cooldown jump. And so does, I mean, you know, on her Merlin, Hoi, like, oh, a bunch of gods have a jump. Or a portal, teleport, whatever the fuck. Um, you kind of have to play around that a lot. Oh, 
but I don't think it's bad. I just think, you know, if you don't play around it, it's easy to get confused about why you're losing a fight. But I also think it's pretty easy to play around if you actually focus. Alright, he's got more minions coming in. Annoying, but whatever. did not kill him there, but what did happen was it showed just how absolutely strong this character is. Even though I, I didn't hit the alt perfectly, I still am able to out-trade. And obviously I got the one-up, so... Great damage, great damage. I want to hit level 20 here. Alright. We got our Death's Embrace. Okay. is down we're gonna go death embrace obviously just upgrade our relic and get a damage buff and i think i'm gonna go speed buff here we got a 2.3 attack speed 255 power and a double kins we should be able to frag pretty hard here Look at that. Look at the double kins. The double kins just shred. Just absolutely shred. And then the extra damage here. Holy crap. Just absolutely shredding. Like the the lockdown with the alt and the and the combo of the two. And then the double kins doing a thousand damage, then my autos just being able to wreck the rest. Keep in mind, this is against Tiamat with the damage mitigation and everything. It seems so strong, it's pretty insane. But, um. Yeah, he's, he's nutty, man. He feels good. Um, his, his kit combos together so well. So well, his kit combos so well. It's really fun. Um, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on Gilgamesh and uh, what you think about auto attack build versus power build versus you know if you think you should see him as a as an assassin like an auto attack assassin revert like kind of like Ravana was or you know let me know what you think. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace.